Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242, and I got some games to share with you. So it's been a while since I've been from the camera, so I figured uh, let's do it for a while, and also a bit of a little bit of a kind of a rant. So my favorite thrift store I go to uh, near my work during my lunch break um, has been a really, really good um, game haul lately because the last couple of weeks, yard sale season has really been dry. Um, I have not gone to a yard sale probably maybe in a month or so. Um, so. Thankfully, thrift stores. I have not been to my um, local flea market, but I might go maybe this weekend. So let's get to the game. So I went, I believe, Sunday. I uh, found a few things there. So we got a nice little stack right here. So this is my Sunday pickups. Uh, I picked up a Nintendo GameCube preview disc. Um, actually, this has never been opened. It's brand new sealed. And this is pretty cheap. I think I paid like $2.99 for this. And it's got... A few demos, there was like Sonic Adventure DX, um, there's Legend of Zelda, uh, Wind Waker, and a few other games on here. I think Soul Calibur 2 is on here, so I, I picked that up. Um, got some PS3 games here. Did I say PS3? Yeah, okay. So I got here um, LA Noir, uh, Killzone 2, and I have another sealed game here. We have. Uh, PS for PS2 uh, Rainbow Six Three and actually this is, yeah this is still factory sealed this has never been opened you can see the little retail tag right there but yeah that was pretty cheap and then I went Monday and they had more games to my surprise and I was really happy to find this um, uh, Resident Evil Four for the Wii um, I have Resident Evil Four on my GameCube and PS2 but I've not played the Wii version and once again I still gotta get a Wii. I have more Wii games to play so I'm, I'm hopefully they can play this when I get a Wii. Uh, for Xbox, uh, Castlevania, Curse of Darkness, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, and for PS2, Kingdom Hearts 2. And I only paid $1.99 for this game and same for the others and it's this one's all complete. And then I went again today, and more. Well, not, I didn't. There was more games, but I didn't pick up a whole lot. So I'll get to the good ones first. Um, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, fortunately, this was a little bit more. This was 5.99, which I was hesitant, but that's actually a much much better price than GameStop. So I figured, yeah. And uh, for PS1, uh, Final Fantasy Origins, which has Final Fantasy uh, 1 and 2. And pick this up uh, for uh, Scarface because a friend of mine was looking for this. So yeah, so I kind of noticed lately they kind of been checking the prices on their games, and which is kind of a shock to me because I've been going to this thrift store for about maybe a year now, and they most of the games are usually a dollar ninety nine to two ninety nine. So, but I noticed they only been checking the Mario and Zelda titles. Why they've been overlooking the other ones is beyond me. Which is kind of sucks. I should have a story to that. So on uh, Monday, I saw they had for the GameCube they had a Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time and uh, Majora's Mask combo. So I looked at it. They wanted twenty bucks for it, and I was like, okay, that's kind of odd. Well, not really odd price, but a bit much for a thrift store. But if it was a little bit lower, I would have got it. But I was like, nah, I'm not. I'm not paying twenty bucks for a game. Um, I was kind of shocked at this. All this was. Well, $5.99 is not too bad for a used game. That, to me, that's 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 like average yard sale price. So I'm happy with that. But 20 bucks, no. So hopefully I can still keep, keep getting cheap games there in, in the future. So yeah, there's my uh, games for for today.